by WCW Monday Nitro. Every Monday night at 8 on TNT. Welcome to Cartoon Planet, everybody. My name is Brack. I am the star of the show. I know it. You know it. I know it. You know it. I know it. You know it. Hey! What? Here's the deal, Brack. I'm the boss. You're nothing. Get it? Big deal. Boss of nothing. What? Never mind. I'm a mean motor scooter. I'm a pillager and looter. I'm a low-down Rudy Tudor. I'm a mean motor scooter. Yeah. Breck, did, did you like that? Hey, that, that, that was nice. Hey, Zorak, was that your chicken sandwich in the refrigerator? Yeah. Why do you ask? Because I ate it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Brack, tell me you didn't eat my chicken sandwich. All right, I didn't eat your chicken sandwich. <sighs> but you did, didn't you? Yes. Even though it was in a brown paper bag with big letters on the side. Z-O-R-A-K. Do you know what that spells? Oh, uh, there's a yummy chicken sandwich in here and you need to eat it? <laughs> Well, I wouldn't have eaten it if I knew it was yours. I thought it was Space Ghost. Oh, and it would be perfectly fine to eat my chicken sandwich. Yours was a ham sandwich. How do you know that? Because I ate that, too. What? I was hungry. Well, now, what are Zorak and I going to have for lunch? Why don't you order a pizza? They won't deliver up here anymore. Maybe because they don't like being bitten. Hey, that guy bit me first. Whatever. Well, I guess this is one of those bad news, good news situations. The bad news is both of your sandwiches got eaten. And the good news is I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> maybe. Maybe still just a little bit hungry. I guess I'll go eat my own sandwich. Let's get it. Oh, boy, you guys get, get away from my olive loaf. Today is Aquarius. Hey, Aquarius, who do you think you are, Aquaman? Get out of the tub already. Nothing wrong with bathing every now and then, but people are starting to talk about how much time you're spending in the tub. What are you doing in there anyway? You better stop singing that stupid Age of Aquarius song and start singing Super Freak, because that's what you're turning into, buddy. Bug, bad bug, what you gonna do? Better surrender when I come for you. Bad bug, bad bug, what you gonna do? Talk to my lawyer, gonna have him sue. I got me a dog, her name is Stu. I'm an evil mantis who won't be kind. Gonna shoot my laser at your big behind. Shoot his laser at your big behind. I'm a big green bug who's feeling blue. Till the day comes when I conquer you. Bad bug, bad bug, what you gonna do? When you feel the business end of my shoe. Bad bug, bad bug, what you gonna do? What are you gonna do when I overthrow you? I've destroyed Space Ghost. <laughs> no, you didn't. He's sitting right over there, dummy. I'm green, I'm olive, I'm chartreuse. I'd love to stay one color, but what's the use? I'm forever stuck in this prison pod, insulting the clown with the whale-sized bod. 
Hey kitties, Space Ghost went to the zoo the other day, and he looked so fat in his costume, the elephant started throwing him peanuts. <laughs> Bad bug, bad bug, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when the ghost zaps you? Bad bug, bad bug, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when you're barbecued? <laughs> One time I got to class before the teacher and I hid behind some shelves. And when the teacher called my name for attendance, I didn't say anything until about halfway through class, I jumped up and yelled, Just kidding, I'm here! <laughs> oh, boy! And I ran and hid behind the door, and the teacher started to talk to the class again, and I said, I'm back, fooled you again! <laughs> oh, boy! So anyway, I got sent to the principal's office and got spanking. The end! Roses are red, roses are blue, it's time for Poets Corner! Yahoo! There was a little girl who had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. When she was good, she was very, very good. And when she was bad, she was horrid. Um, now you see, I, I don't think that rhymes very good. Forehead, horrid. I would have said forehead, doorhead, or forehead, doorhead, or even forehead, Agnes Moorhead, or forehead, don't go to the storehead. Stop it! Make me! You're already made, and what a mess! Why do you always have to be so mean to me? The little poem that Brack read was written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow for his daughter, who hated having her hair curled. For years, Longfellow denied that he was the author, but finally, on his deathbed in 1882, he declared, All right already, I wrote the stupid poem. Now turn the television back on and clear out of here. Henry Waterbug Longfellow had big feet. You know why? Because they were Longfellows. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Get it? You get it? Long feet. <laughs> well, when somebody told me, told me that one a long time ago. But it still has a wallop. <laughs> <coughs> Now, here's a tasty little nugget of joy from Zorak. On Earth, the praying mantis has many nicknames. In jolly old England, we're known as soothsayers from the Greek roots of the word mantis, meaning prophet. In the southern United States, they call us devil's rear horses due to our tendency to rear up on our hind legs when threatened. And mule killers from the false belief that the brown saliva that we emit will kill a mule. <clears throat> For some strange reason, some earthlings call us camel crickets, although we don't know why, nor do we appreciate it very much. Yes.